Let's dive into what happened with Nate Sudfeld, the backup quarterback for the Detroit Lions. During the recent preseason game against the Carolina Panthers, Sudfeld had to step in for Teddy Bridgewater. But things took a bad turn when he went down awkwardly on the Carolina sideline after a run. The Panthers' training staff helped him off the field on a cart. After the game, Coach Dan Campbell didn't have a lot of details about Sudfeld's condition. He did say that Sudfeld's knee was hyperextended and he might need some time to recover. Now the big question is whether Sudfeld will still be part of the Lions team while he gets better. A hyperextended knee usually takes about four weeks to heal, depending on a few things. The season is starting in just 12 days, so Sudfeld might miss the first couple of games at least. But let's think about this. Sudfeld was already the third-string quarterback behind Jared Goff and Teddy Bridgewater. It was unlikely he would play much during the regular season anyway. Bridgewater clearly won the battle to be the second-string quarterback, and that was clear in the game against Carolina. So, with this injury, the Lions have some choices about what to do with Sudfeld. One option is to let him go because of the injury. This is something the team did recently with other players. If no other team picks him up, he could go back to the Lions' injured list. If the Lions really want to keep Sudfeld, they could put him on the main roster, even though he's injured. Then, right away, they could move him to the injured list. This would mean he has to sit out for at least four games. That should be enough time for him to heal. This choice could be good because it would open up a spot on the team for another player after the first round of cuts. But it also means someone else might lose their spot on the team. No matter what, it seems like this knee injury is the end of Sudfeld's time as the second-string quarterback. The Lions don't need to worry too much about losing their rookie Adrian Martinez to another team. They can keep him as the third-string quarterback or put him on the practice squad. This lets them have an extra player in a different position. In the end, it's a tough situation for Sudfeld and the Lions, and we'll have to see how they decide to handle it.